Hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. Uh, I'm going to show you how to wrap the chrome trim around this uh, Mercedes S550. It's been previously wrapped, we've tapered and removed it, and it was wrapped in 3M matte black. We're wrapping it in Avery gloss black. So what we've done is we've, we've prepared the surface. I've also gone to greater lengths to remove the rubber seal that runs across the top here. So this is it right here. Comes off really easily and goes back on really easily. I see a bit of adhesive here. So I'm just gonna clean that off a little bit. One second. Just had a bit of adhesive on the edge here. I wanna make sure it's nice and clean. It could be 3M primer. It could be just adhesive from the 3M film. Typically, it doesn't leave adhesive behind, but sometimes it does. All right, so what I'm gonna show you today is this piece, this piece, and the bottom piece. They're all fairly straightforward. This piece is actually pre-loosened, so it's gonna pop off really easily. That way we can tuck in behind this seal really nicely. What, it's, what this is gonna come down to is how precise your cutting is. So I've gone to also greater lengths to mask off surrounding areas, including over here, so we can cut on this piece and then tuck the vinyl in very slightly because this rubber piece will lift up. Uh, that way we can have full coverage as far as the chrome goes, as far as the leading it goes. All right, so what I've done is I've pre-cut some strips. So we're gonna take one strip, measure it out lengthwise, cut off any excess. Okay, pull the scrap piece on top of the car. Very straightforward, you should have a wrap glove also on you, it'll help. Take the film and run it from one end to the next. So I'm just gonna generally get it where I need it, but I have to reposition it right now. So I have to go a little bit higher. There we go. One thing I also didn't mention was that I've put a little inlay on the back piece here just to make it easier. We could, we can stretch it over and do it all in one piece. Really, it's just as easy to, you can do it in, in two pieces. It's not a big deal and no one's going to see it. We're just doing that for full coverage. But no one's really going to see that edge once we uh, cut this film. So I have my wrap glove handy. And this is going to be lay down a lot using my using my fingers because it, they contour a little bit better to the shape of the of the actual trim piece okay so i'm going to work it up very slowly the surface has been prepped of course with isopropyl alcohol and made sure that we removed all the contaminants so having the masking tape on the bottom here allows the film to slide up and off of it. You can see it's kind of lifting a little bit off of the masking tape, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. All right. So once we do that, I'm going to lift it up a little bit off of here, and then I'm going to tuck it in a little bit more, and I'm going to trim off the bottom piece. So it helps having the trim mounted to a surface. So this is why I have it mounted to the car right now. It's not completely mounted, we just have it on very slightly so that we can pull and stretch on the film, or pull the film and stretch it as we need it and manipulate it how we need to. It'll be a lot easier having it mounted onto something. All right, so I have this piece wrapped underneath. I'll take my blade and I'll cut on the underside, so look, the blade is facing up, okay? Very, very carefully. We don't wanna cut the car and we don't wanna cut the wrap where we've already wrapped. And the blade just fits in there really nicely. Okay, so we can remove that piece. I'm going to come off the end right here. Okay. 
Get that out of the way. All right, so now that we have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my wrap glove. And I'm going to remove this piece. So it just, it just pries back. And if you're gentle and you work it very carefully, it just comes off like that. And that's how we got it off in the first place. Now we're going to push it up to the edge of the seal. And we can do this a little bit better, a little bit more effectively if we use a squeegee. Right up to the edge. And I know it's probably hard to see because it's black. So everything is just black. It doesn't look like much. So I've pushed it right up to the edge of the seal. I want to have a look here to see how far that, where that seal runs. Okay, so it runs all the way down this edge in here and in here. So now that I've done that, I can trim and leave a little bit excess so that we can tuck in the rest of it. I am cutting on the seal for the most part, but I'm being very careful. It's very easy to damage things. If you're not comfortable doing this part like this, you can do it on the car. It just helps to have it off, for me at least, but whatever works for you. So I'm actually, I'm gliding the piece upward. I'm not really moving the blade down, I'm gliding the piece upward as I do this. I'm just keeping an eye on where the edge is. There's the top. Okay, so I've come to an end there. that piece out of the way. What I can do now is I can pry the seal back slightly and tuck the film in there. Okay, we can use our fingers, we can use a squeegee, whatever works. I use my fingers, just a little bit easier for me. And we've cleaned in here thoroughly. Sometimes you just got to pull the, pull the trim back a little bit. I'm going to use my squeegee actually, it might help a little bit more by pulling the trim back and pushing it in. If you leave too much film on the trim, it's a little bit more difficult. So we want to minimize how much excess we're leaving on this piece. So you can, as you can see, I'm having a bit of a difficult time getting it off of this piece. I have another squeegee on me. So this is what happens when you leave too much film, but it's okay. We're gonna get it all tucked in there. So it would be a lot more difficult to actually pull this rubber piece back if we had it mounted on the vehicle right now. So I'm going to peel some of it off before I even get that far ahead and then squeegee it in there. I never look to see if this trim comes off, but it doesn't look like it really comes off. Looks like it's going to be more of a pain to take it off than, than it's worth. So we're going to do it with it on. A 
Again, I could have used less film on the top, would have helped with, uh, with tucking it in. But this is guaranteed, no way it's going to show any chrome. Let's get some more of this off. Almost at the end. Extremely tedious doing stuff like this. So prices can really vary from shop to shop or what you want to charge yourself. It's tedious and time consuming to do it right. So like I said, the customer was unhappy with the uh, amount of chrome coverage that there was prior to this. So we're going to make sure that everything is completely covered as we should anyways. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of a chrome delete. Just working it in there. I could have used about an eighth of an inch less, so I know that for the rest of my uh, of the panels I do. All right, so the seal kind of gets a little bit thinner over here. It's not as it's not as heavy duty as it is up top here, so we're gonna have to trim off some more. But I just wanted to make sure that uh, we had enough, so I didn't. I stopped right here where this where this ended, and now we're gonna finish it off and leave a little bit less. Where are we? All right. So trim it off right on the top. Have a little bit excess there. And we're gonna try to squeeze you this last little bit right in here. Should be a lot easier now that we have a less less film. Yeah, it's going in really nicely. Okay. So we have a nice clean edge all the way down. Like we have enough underneath and it's nice and straight. And we have enough on top where it's nice and straight also. So what we need to do now is finish off the rest of this over here. So there is the rubber seal here as well. Let's get rid of that piece. I'm going to see Tuck this in right here and then trim off the very end. I just need to lift it off right here a little bit. Pull the seal back. This is a little bit more difficult over here. There we go. I have too much slack here. Okay. It's always harder to work around the rubber seals, the trims with the rubber seals on them. So keep that in mind. We're gonna finish off this edge right here. Push in there using your nail or the squeegee. 
trim on the back side. And round that off. Avery is Avery's great for doing trim. It's such a thin film. It makes it really, really clean and really easy to do. So we use Avery a lot for stuff like this. For more intricate like chrome deletes and, and stuff like that. It's very small. So the, chrome, the, the film itself is a bit thinner than Vivid. So any, for anyone who's asking, differences. And that edge, you can't tell there's a seam there. And we look good. So when we go to put this back, it's going to be perfect. And we can see just how nice it looks right here. Okay. So I'm going to stick this in the car for now, get it out of the way. We're going to work on the top piece right here. Again, this section is already prepped and, I, and I've removed the, the rubber trim, making it a little bit easier. So what we do, we cut one long piece and we contour it to this. So there's going to be so, so going to be some stretching, but we're not over stretching. We're not we're not killing the film here. We're just stretching it enough. There's some minor blemishes on this. I just want to make sure it's a blemish. Okay. Go over it once more in case any dust has settled on it. So again, start at one end, and I'm going to contour this in, and I'm pulling on the film just a bit. Okay. And you can see how it's contouring itself around the chrome trim, even though this was a nice straight piece. And that is where at the end over there. Okay. We'll cut off the rest. Get that out of the way. So when we do this, the bottom section is going to be a little bit more difficult to do than the top section. The top section we're going to roll over and cut it on the inside. While the bottom section we have to cut just enough to tuck into that rubber seal that's on the bottom. So. I'm using my fingers, not the glove. It's whatever you prefer. We have some tension here, so what I want to do is alleviate that a little bit. So just like that. I'm going to start, before I do the top, I'm going to do the bottom, because I know the bottom is more difficult. So in case I mess it up, we didn't already do the top. And have to redo the whole thing again. So I have this fancy little tool here, which will help get right in there. Okay. So I'm lifting the film up off of the edge and I'm pushing it up to the rubber seal. Just want to see where that is. So the rubber seal does have some play. You can see you can push it back. So we can, we know we can tuck in there. No problem. Not all seals are like that, so some are going to be a little bit more difficult to do than others. So I'm just taking this little chiseler and running it right down. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. And running it right down the line of the seal. And it's difficult to do even with this, so... So down here, the rubber seal ends somewhere, and it ends right here. So over here, we're going to have to tuck it right underneath the, uh, the chrome, just the bare chrome. But again, we can pull the seal back a little bit and 
tuck it in over here. So I'm just gonna go over that with my finger. Make sure everything's super tight. What I want to do is leave just enough to tuck in. If you're concerned about cutting like this on this edge, you can mask it. Masking tape doesn't really hold very well to uh, rubber, so keep that in mind, it may come off. Even the knifeless tape won't really hold very well, so there aren't very many options as far as cutting goes. But it's always worth a try if, you, if you're not comfortable with it. So we're down near the bottom here where the uh, rubber ends. I'm gonna leave just a bit and all this is gonna get tucked in underneath the chrome trim. Okay. For the, this bottom piece here, this is actually completely hidden from this line. There's a little line there and that's where the other trim sits over top of it. It's completely hidden. So we can cut right along the bottom of that and out. And then we're gonna cut right out, straight out from the corner. That way we don't have any slack around the corner, making the corner really nice. So for here, we're gonna start tucking in this trim. I'm gonna pull back the seal with my finger and it's not gonna be hard at all. So what it really comes down to is how much you're you leaving enough film so that we have full coverage. Okay. So I'm pulling, you can see I'm pulling that trim back. Now if we didn't, if we weren't able to pull the trim back, we would be cutting, we would be using the little, this little tool to push right up to that edge if that edge didn't move. And then we're going to take a very fresh blade and we're going to cut it right on that edge. That's, that is where a little bit more, a higher skill level with the blade comes into play. So. So we have to always look ahead and, I, and as I come up to the end over here, I'm gonna explain something. One thing that I noticed was that this rubber trim that I'm pulling down right now ends and comes around here, so, which leaves a tiny triangle of chrome exposed, which is a little bit extra um, because this rubber trim doesn't push right up in the corner to the chrome trim. So we gotta make sure that we're pushing in all the way when it comes down to this area over here and kind of having the film run into this corner a little bit. So what we're gonna do first is I've masked this top area here and I've pushed with my tool, I'm gonna to cut right on the very edge. So this is gonna be my line where this piece ends because I want a bit of this black to fold down and in. So what I want to do first is cut across the top Okay, and then I'm gonna come down. I don't know if I actually cut through it enough. We'll see. Yes, I did. So I didn't right here. My blade could probably be a little sharper. A sharper blade is always gonna be easier than a duller blade. You don't have to push as hard and it's safer that way. So as you can see, I'm leaving a little bit extra here, okay? I'm gonna trim off just a little bit more because we have a little bit too much. Okay. All right, so to do this, so what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna open the door a little bit. Oh, it's just stuck up here. What I want to do is to lift, somehow get the film under this rubber trim here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because it's so, Tight. 
and there isn't really it does this this panel does come off but I'm just not sure how and it may not be worth the effort so again as you can see I'm tucking the film in once I get one edge down I'll be able to get my other tool in here and kind of pry it a bit so as I was mentioning this corner that's right down here this rubber trim doesn't run right up to this corner so if you don't push this down far enough and tuck it in you'll have chrome exposed let me grab my other tool one second so this can help with prying this up a little bit and if we find that this isn't working we're just going to push this really tight against it and then trim off the excess, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to snap off a fresh blade and get rid of this. So very carefully find the recess and trim in the recess. Okay, I can take this piece and trim it off. Okay. Now we can push down the rest of the way in this rubber seal. Should be able to at least. Right into that corner right there. That's where we would have film ex uh, chrome exposed if anywhere. So it's keeping your eye on little details just like that. So I can remove this tape, it's not needed anymore. And it's very clean across the top, we have no chrome showing. So for here, now that I have the door open, actually, I can push some of that down with my finger. All right, so now that I have the door open, I'm gonna take the film, run my finger down it, kind of roll it over the opposite edge a little bit, all the way down. We don't want to go too far, we want to go just enough because we do need to put the rubber gasket back in. So I'm going to fold this around the back side here and trim this piece off. So some of this is fairly thin up top here. I'm going to trim off the excess film. So I'm going to come over here, we'll open the door a little bit. Yeah, it's on that angle there. We're going to cut right on the top of this line right here. until it runs out, just making this nice and straight. Again, making sure we're over. Eventually the door is gonna get in my way, so I'm gonna have to come up from the other side, but you get the idea. Back of the blade on this little edge right here. Side of the door. Okay, we're going to go over that really brief, quickly with our finger. Making sure everything's nice and clean, and we're gonna put that chrome trim or the uh, rubber seal back in afterwards. So everything's nice and clean. Remove the tape, and we're gonna move on to the bottom piece right now. So we're gonna move into the bottom section right here. Super easy piece to do as well. 
have an extra thin piece, which is right here. So again, take the length, leave a little excess. And we're going to take the film and run it right across. This, seal, this uh, trim piece is a little tighter. So I've masked both edges so we can have a little bit, uh, so we can have more play with the, with the film itself when we go to tuck it in. It's going to slide nicely right off of the masking tape or the painter's tape. And we're going to be able to tuck it right in really tight to that edge. Squeegees, I put them down somewhere, right there. So I'll use a hard edge squeegee for the most part, and you can see if just the mask, the the film when I push on it in this crevice, it just pops right off that that painter's tape. So I might have to help it sometimes, but it should for the most part slide right off really easily. And this works with any film, so whatever film you're using. It doesn't like sticking to painter's tape. This is a perfect example of using painter's tape or masking tape in a different way as opposed to just masking off the edge so we don't cut it. We're, doing, we're using this for the purpose of having the vinyl slide off. So I'm going to go over it one more time before I cut. So precision when you're cutting, super important. I'm going to start just before the end is where I, what I usually do. And I only have one click out on the blade. The blade is pointing down. So these trim pieces do come off, but they're two-sided taped and clipped. And these ones can be a bit of a pain to take off um, because of where the clips are. They're really, really hidden. So we have to actually remove a lot of things on the inside of the door. there Let's iron them out when the wrinkles are near the edges they're actually really easy to get rid of I'm not sure you can see that in the camera or not but I just kind of iron them out a little bit okay. take that all the way back there's gonna be zero chrome showing what I want to do is run this out the rest of the way on the, on the opposite panel. So again, same deal down here. I'm just gonna lift it off a little bit so you give it a little extra play. Okay. Take our squeegee. I'm not pushing that hard when I do that first stroke. I push a little bit more firm on the second one and then very firm on the third one, especially if you're sliding the squeegee down, it can bunch, it can bunch the vinyl up. So you want to make sure the first stroke is uh, very gentle, the second stroke a little bit more thir fir uh, firm, and then the third one firm. So that it's all the way around the edge already, and we don't get wrinkles on the edge like I had over here. I got rid of them, and you can get rid of them, but you just kind of want to avoid that. It's just extra work, and you might miss. You might miss it and then not see it until later and have to fix it up or your customer might see it before you do. So again, blade is pointing up. We don't have to worry too much about the chrome showing on this edge, but we're still, it still won't show at all on the bottom side because this is on the bottom side and no one's ever going to see the bottom side of the car. Okay. So for the ends, we're going to have to just tuck it around very slightly. I'm going to tuck it around right there a little bit. And there is a rubber seal here, so I'm just going to trim it off right at the rubber seal. It's going to be a little hard to see. We'll go over and round it 
off with our squeegee. Just round off those corners. The corners are so fine and we have very little slack around the edge that we don't really have to worry about it. I'm gonna go over this one more time after cutting. Right now, I think I already did this one, but I'll do it again just to clean it up. Okay, perfect. And then let me open the door and we'll finish off this little bit right here. So I'm just gonna pull it around gently with a little bit of tension, not much. Find where that chrome ends, which is right there, and trim off the excess. And that's that. There's actually just that's the black paint right there. And that's it. So we'll go over that a little bit, clean it up. And that's how we do the trim. So I'll put this piece back just so you can kind of see what it looks like when it, what it will look like when it's completed. So be very careful. And we're putting this stuff back in. And this kind of this edge here is actually more of a pain because this sits over top. So it's going to slide in a bit, and this is going to overlap that edge. I have to still finish this off. I didn't finish this off. This is all behind the mirror, so I guess that's why they stopped running the, uh, the rubber seal. Let's tuck that in underneath. A little bit right there. That's good. Make sure we're down a bit more still. Here. It's flush, we'll push it down. Put it back to its home. We'll remove the tape afterwards. But I just want to show you what that's gonna look like. So we have a bit more to do as you can see. But and it's a very tedious process. So we want to make sure you're charging accordingly for stuff like this. This takes a long time. It takes me a little bit longer because I'm trying to uh, demonstrate this on video. It would probably take me about half the time if I wasn't showing you guys what to do. But you know, if you want to, if you want to delete the chrome in your car or work on your skills, uh, great way, great practice, great way to practice uh, your cutting, especially because we're not cutting on paints, we're cutting in between seals. So you should be working on being very steady with the blade and having, making sure you're snapping off fresh blades and having very sharp blades. Uh, so great skills to work on. Uh, other than that, I'll get on to uh, wrapping the wheel faces after this. Once we finish up all the chrome delete on this uh, entire vehicle, which is going to look pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. For those who are already subscribing, thank you. Uh, we do have Instagram, so please follow us on Instagram at CK Wraps. Uh, you'll be able to see the completed project of this vehicle once it's all done. All right, thanks everyone. Take care.